Hey everybody, what is going on? So what we want to do in this video is talk about how to fix issues on your mobile or responsive layout when things are getting stacked rather, rather than being on the same row. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I've got a row highlighted here. And right now what we have is our uh, Twitter icon, Google+, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. Now everything looks fine if we go and view this on desktop and we scroll all the way down to the bottom everything looks fine but what happens when we go and we click on mobile and now they don't look fine okay same thing over here if we go and we right click on this and do an inspect and then we drop this down and then as we're going oops it's looking pretty ugly there all right so here's what we've got you probably have noticed this and just didn't notice it what it was for and that is when you click on this and get this whole section highlighted over here is this little checkbox for disable vertically stacking rows on mobile devices this forces it to keep it all in one line so we click on this and now it's all in one line same thing here it's kind of looking kind of messed up here and so if we click into it and we get into the actual section somehow it's not letting me get into the section so what we'll do is we'll just do a save we're going to go over to our desktop and we'll see if we can there we go we can get into the section that way so we're going to click on that and same thing we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to click on the little checkbox for disable vertically stocking rows on mobile devices doesn't look like it did anything here but if we go back over and check it out on mobile Sure enough, it's all there. Now, one of the things about this, though, is now it's showing up as kind of wonky. So this might be a situation where either, one, we go and we can decrease the font size on mobile and maybe drop that down to 14. Do the same thing here. 14, same thing here. It was interesting that some of these were at 16. Still not. It's really, really small though, but this is one option. That fixed up the Okay, so now the next option is to go in here and just see, do we have any margin or padding? I'm not seeing any of that. We have some padding on the right. So we could also decrease that a little bit. And again, this is only going to be on mobile. And we're going to do the same thing on left. And I'm going to see if I can kick that up. Yep. Do the same thing there. Padding on this one. Do five. Whoop. Five. And on the left, I'm going to do five. Same thing here. I'm going to take that font up because it's just a little bit too small. Pretty sure we had it at 14. Scroll down to our padding section. Just going to type in five on each. Yep, that looks good. Do the same thing on our blog. Take that up to 14. And five and five. Okay, so we can we can leave this like this now if we want to, or if we want to, we could remove the checkbox for the vertical spaces. We can go over here and uncheck this checkbox if we wanted to, and just have it stack again. Almost looks like it's a little small here. I don't think I like it that small there, but hey, there. there and I can see now that we're having some 
padding issues again here. Actually, what we could do, go back here, take that down to about 30 and 30. So there we have it. We have everything dialed in now. Uh, everything looks good on mobile. So if you are running into issues where when you click over to mobile and things are kind of breaking down, double check and see if you've got this checkbox checked or not. Chances are, if it's unchecked and things are breaking down on your mobile, go ahead and check that and that'll, that'll fix things. All right, so that's how you use the disable vertically stocking rows on your mobile device to keep things looking pretty uh, in your and responsive on a mobile device. Now, if you're liking these videos, we've got a whole playlist on system.io that you can check out. And that's it for today, everybody. Have an awesome day.